it is what it is, you see Cruise, your boy Teddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? a muck bang! ZCC family, as you guys can see by the title, and you can see by the thumbnail, and as you can see by this platter, we have a lobster boil. Yes, ZCC family, a whole lobster boil, six lobster tails, homemade, cooked in the crib, and I also got some sausage, some corn, and some potatoes to do it right, to bring that boil aspect. I got that B-Love smack delicious, oh so delicious. Get it from b and I also got some garlic butter delicious sauce right here. Let's get a prayer in the thumbnail. Yeah, we can straight to this. There ain't nothing but to do it, man. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, let's get straight to it. I think I'm gonna scoot that one to this side. This one over here. They both got platforms. And um, I'm gonna put my hair up. Yes, ZCC family, I took my hair down. I did not style my hair this way. It comes curly when you, uh, when you have your hair in braids. My hands are lightweight. A little, got a little stuff from seafood. I don't want to get this in my hair. But uh, yeah, um, took my hair down today actually. And uh, I actually got cut up and I did something uh, different with this cut. With this cut, I told the barber no spray because uh, I'm back heavy in that gym. I just don't want to spray. So yeah, my barber still get me right. I already got a pretty thumbnail. Let's get started. Fresh out the oven. Mm -hmm. Seasoned and marinated. I kind of want to taste it without nothing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's delicious. With no sauce. Be little smack delicious. Even better. Fresh jalapeno. Cause this is what we do. <clears throat> Potato. Mm-hmm. Cook great. Let's get a sausage in right away. Y'all get the first bite of everything within the first minute. Mm-hmm. And some of that corn. Uh, let's finish this all off. I'm treating myself today, y'all, with a big red. Who know about big red? Cheers. <sighs> Delicioso. So, um, the big red I actually didn't buy. My friend bought the big red, and uh, he bought he bought me one. He said, I knew you'd want one and got me one. Let's go ahead and try this garlic butter sauce. This garlic and lemon butter sauce. I'm dipping that in deep. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Let's put that. That potato in there. That's all, you know. Let's get that sauce here. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit of this corn. Mm. Mm -hmm. They both are so good. I gotta finish this corn off. It's like lightweight giving me I don't want to say anxiety, but it's like, um, I, I don't like just taking a bite of the corn and leaving it. I feel like once I eat a corn, I got to finish it off. Mm. 
I don't like that at all. Hmm. One thing about me is when I eat, I like to finish one thing first usually before I can start on something else. Like if I have a whole plate of food, I focus on that one thing that move on to the next section, the next section. I just don't mix it really for real. Is that delicioso? Uh, uh, this week, I am going nuts with the boils, y'all. So make sure y'all stay tuned because I'm going crazy with the boils. Yo, be dope. Type of boil of time. A month with pure seafood. None of my boils. Sure, it's been done before. That will be in this piece of week, in me month. And also, I don't, I like seafood a lot, but I don't love it like some people love it. That'll be a long month. I just seafood every day. Mm. Listen, the fresh jalapeno goes with anything. Let's get that, that, that fresh lobster tail. Let's get that bee love dip. That's so good to me. Let's get some of that garlic, brother. I feel like potatoes you gotta have. Smack delicious. Cause I need something to scoop up with. Garlic butter ain't got nothing to scoop up with. But yes, this is family. I said, I don't want no black spare salt. Let me actually talk about that. Because I sometimes, from time to time, hear the comment sections about the black spray or the, um, the white pencil. Uh, so, both are meant to do the same things. Both are meant to enhance the line, to give it that HD effect, to give it that sharp look. By any means, I'm not saying, I don't know if you guys are thinking I'm doing it because I'm having hair, like this is my real hair, this is my line. Uh, right now you see a little, uh, little white pencil in there, but this is my hairline. It's not like I got a receding hairline or something. Um, I'm not doing, I, I, I know some people are like, oh, why is that black spray on there? Let's, do y'all see me under people's comment section talk about why do you got thick eyelashes on or why is your, why do you thread your eyebrows or why is your eyebrows lined up or why are they drawn on or why do y'all have y'all lipstick line going above the lip? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, it's, it's, it's an aesthetic look, you know what I mean? It's just, it's for looks, you know what I mean? It's just, it's not hurting nobody or anything like that. And this is not something that is like a... Cause it's not. This is something every guy does. It's, I feel like it's normal. Like the fact that I, I get people in the comment section talking about it. I'm like, what? Not, that's normal. Just as normal as women wearing eyelashes. No guy looks at it as a woman wearing eyelashes. Oh, uh, you're being fake. No one looks at it like that. It's just normal. That's just every. That's the culture. You know, women wear eyelashes. Men get the black spray and you know, the fibers. Well, I don't get the fibers. You see, you see, sometimes it's the fiber. I use, I used to get the fibers sometimes. 
the fibers or the spray. I prefer the spray. Spray lasts longer. The fibers are actually like little hairs that go on. I don't like the fibers that much because they come off too quickly. The reason why I didn't, the only reason why I didn't do it this way, because I'm definitely a proponent for the spray. Love spray. Gives it the extra effect. The hair looks super crispy. The only reason I didn't go with it this week because um, I'm back. Uh, I took, I ain't gonna lie, your boy ZCT took about a week and a half off, off the gym. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sorry. I know, I know. But, um, so I'm like, man, and, and I ain't gonna lie, one of the main things that keep me like, that holds me back is to be like, uh, oh, I got my fresh haircut, you know, I need this to last for maximum amount of videos. I don't want that spray being sweating off or anything of that sort. So that'd be my excuse, you know, after I get done my videos for the week, then I'm gonna work out heavy for like, I'll do videos for three to four days through the week and then work out for the rest of the three, for three or, uh, yeah, Thursday. So if I so if I do Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday workout, or if I stop on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and go heavy at the gym. So I'm like, you know what? Give me a haircut, no black spray. So then there's nothing to wipe off. You know, nothing that sweats off, and and I just want that maximum crispy effect with just a natural hairline. And that's what he did. So after this. Your boy in the gym. I actually been in the gym all week, man. But yeah, I did take a week and a half off. I will be uh, definitely right after this video. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit back and relax a little bit. And chill out. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sensation. But yeah, um, ninety nine percent a black man. <laughs> black men that are millennials or Gen X or Gen or not X Z. They use the they use the uh, they use the hairline spray, y'all. Just like y'all know. <laughs> now, the white chalk. Um, me personally, I like it. Y'all may feel indifferent about it because I don't like it when it's forced. Like it looks like a crime scene. But I like a little hint of a white line. I like that. It's HD effect that pops off the line one. And then also, really, the pencils to help shape the the uh the line so they know where areas they where they're cutting at and um my barber he actually takes it off of people because he literally, literally just uses it to um just to get the shape to make the shape out and then he blends it in my barber uh he does that and i told him don't do that i actually like the white line just have it you know not crazy visible not no uh, crime scene and if any of y'all go in that comment section and say my chalk, my hairline chalk is like a crime scene, y'all got capping y'all rap. And y'all definitely capping. Because to put type in white chalk on hairline, people 10 times way more, way more uh, crazier than what mine is. Mine's is not crazy at all. <laughs> But if there's any fellas in the comment section, go ahead. Defend your boy. Defend us men. <laughs> this is what it is. I just find it so funny how I, I'm like, why are people so mad about man, my hairline? Cause I know for a fact, y'all got eyelashes on. I know for a fact, even if you don't right now, you did before, 
know for a fact you got some kind of thing, eyebrows drawn on, lined up. You got a wig, you got extensions, you got your nails done. Just It's just an aesthetic pleasing thing. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Well, I know some men ridicule a woman for even going as far as surgery. I, I'm not that kind of guy. It's your body, do whatever you want to do with it. <clears throat> Some uh, guys just prefer a woman with the real deal. Holy deal. I just don't need to look crazy. I don't care if you got it. It just can't look nuts. And when I say that, it is you got the peach bottom where it's really peach, but that thigh, that, that thigh ratio is like an arm. You got an arm thigh, but it come in, but that thigh is so small. I find that so weird. I think they caught up um, off guard with Kim Kardashian's like that. I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. And it need, need to be an even thigh to booty ratio. The sixth and final one, y'all, of the lobster cell, Finanza. But, yeah, love the back spray, always will use it, especially during the weekends. But I think I'm gonna start doing no during the week, no black spray, so I still be motivated to work out during the weekends, black spray, because. I just want to need my freshness. I'm stepping outside. I just split it between the two. A little bit of lobster. I mean, a little, little garlic. And the rest. The smack is also delicious. Hit it with the hot pepper. Y'all be watching those shorts of uh, people doing them hot Well, I know for a fact that some spice came. Light skinned dude. He not moving to Cali. He was in Texas, but he didn't come up with those long hot sauce. But now I'm seeing this other kid. It's not like I'm not trying to just call it right by the race, but it's a white boy. Man, he don't look like he's from America or anything. Could be. But he's doing all these spicy challenges. I'm like, I gotta be scripted. Like, Spice King, I believe it is. You know? But some of the stuff that this other kid is eating, like, nah, ain't no way. You be able to eat all that? Or, but the thing is, these are short, so you guys don't get to see reaction. Because I can easily eat. 10,000 things. No, nah, obviously not 10,000, but I can easily eat so much and then, um, and I have a reaction for 30 seconds. I'm like, mm. All right, take a bite of the, obviously he's in the hot, but take a bite. This is Carolina Reaper. Charlie Shucker. That's how I want it. Obviously, I still got it in my mouth, but they open it, they stick the tongue out, and, say, and then they say, uh, what they be saying? <laughs> No reaction. And then the video cut. After that, they, ah! <laughs> you know? That's what I was, you know. Hey, Carolina Reaper ain't no joke. And I'm a spice guy. Carolina Reaper ain't no joke. That one shit challenge ain't no, ain't no joke either. Mm. Now, I'm not saying I'll do it again. But I just know. When we did do it, I had two chips. And my second chip, I put hot sauce on. 
And mind you, before that video, we already did two, three other videos before that. And one of the videos was the berry challenge where we're tasting a whole bunch of foods with this berry and the berry is supposed to make it taste sweet or whatever. So I ate like a whole, there's a whole bunch of concoctions in my stomach. And then we do the one chip and I go crazy on that challenge. But I guess I had a lot of factors. So maybe that one chip may not be as, now I'm not saying I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, well, but if it wasn't, man, gonna hit you. What's the chip? What's the chip? What's the chip? And I ain't actually got four of the newest chip, the blue one, because I was gonna do it. <sighs> I just don't know, man. My my stomach is just not what it used to be. <clears throat> All right. I understand the effects of getting old. <laughs> um, what did I recently eat? I recently ate something and it just burns the inside. Like burns my stomach crazy. And it's not, oh, it hurts when it comes out, none of that. It's just like my, my the intestines, it's like my stomach is burning crazy. I can handle the mouth, mouth heat. It do get hot. And I hate when it, and my heat, it gets stuck like in the back of my throat where there's no cooling off. It's not my tongue, my mouth, where you can put water in and switch it around. It's the back of the throat. Like it's like right here. And it's like in the middle and it's stuck and it's a fire right there, like a furnace. And the thing is, okay, you could drink water to cool that furnace down, you know? But that water just slides right through and it's in your stomach. And then you start to feel that bloatedness from the water. You feel crazy. That, that fire in, 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 the, in the throat is hectic, but that burn in the stomach is something else. And I think Carolina Reaper activates that. I can eat jalapenos, habaneros, wasabi, anything spicy. But I feel like there's some chemical in that reaper that activates the furnace in my stomach. And it just feels like it's just burning my intestines. I don't know. It'd be hectic. It would really do. Mm. But that's it. She's just found one. I'm going to call it. Mm -hmm. Great meal. I enjoy chopping it up with the fam like I always do. Y'all are truly the best. I hope you guys enjoy this meal. There's a lot of boils coming. A lot of them. No. I ain't gonna say a lot of them. I bought about three boils. So, I'm about to buy you three boils this week. I said I handle it. Six stops is held down the tank. Hot peppers, corn, sausage, potatoes, great meal with the Be Love Smack Delicious. Also delicious. Get it at BeLoveSlife.com. I got some of the Be Love's Life hot sauce in the cabinet. I don't think I ever had a hot sauce on my channel. I got some on my camera. I have to bring it in. But this was a great meal. I love y'all. Uh, and give me your thoughts and opinions about. Black Airlines spray. If it's really that big of a deal or y'all just think some of the people in the comments just be trolling. Go in the comments and let me know if they just be trolling just to say something negative or is it really a big deal? Do you ladies just not like when guys have it? I just can't imagine. I never heard a complaint ever like in person in my life. I just hear it in the comment section. I never heard of even a woman complain about it to another man like ever. Not, not even towards me, but even towards someone else like, Oh, you got black spray on? Like, I can see you could be if you're a bald guy and then you got black spray or you have a receding hairline and it's like you're trying to fake the funk, but it's just like I have my hair. It's just enhancing it. It's making it bolder. It's making it punch through the screen. I want my 3D. You know, you know I take my haircuts very seriously. I love my haircuts. Hey, that's my... It makes me feel good. Just like how, you know, women put on makeup to make them feel good. You know, people work out to make them feel good. My haircuts make me feel good. I, I love how I feel after I, I get out the shop, feel like the man when I walk through. So, yeah, 
We're gonna end this off. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Eddie Chuck Chuck. That is Z A D D Y C H U K C H U K. But Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z C C gang is on top. Let's get it. Your boy about to hit that gel. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.